artist guided toy and he's going to tell us more about this. <laughs> Rand Merchant Bank had bought um, a sinking hair that, that sits on a box and then part of their latest campaign is the sort bubble. There's still quite a few technical problems. This leg's going to have to move in, um, so I'm going to have to cut it, re-weld it, so that it fits on this box, which is considerably lighter. I've got this little maquette to illustrate it. Although the maquette isn't true, this leg is going to be shorter, so the whole sculpture is going to be cantilevered off this little point here, which is an engineering feat in itself. The patina on this hair is a mixture of, of two traditional patinas. The one, you can see the brown, is a, a ferro-nitrate patina, and then it's been overlaid with a copper nitrate, a green um, patina. And I quite enjoy the fact that it, it looks antique, it looks noble, it looks ancient. The process of, of realizing this um, hair in bronze involves the lost wax process. So this is the wax part of the process. You take molten wax and throw it into your silicon rubber mold. Sounds simple, but it's not always. So here we're realizing the wax. It still needs to be gated. Gating is a system, um, a plumbing system that you put on. So here I'm going to put a, a funnel and then I'll connect some risers which um, allow the wax to escape and when the bronze gets poured down the funnel the gases escape. So once the plumbing's on this will go um, uh, for another mold making process called ceramic shell where uh, a mold gets built up around the wax and then once the mold's complete we melt the wax out hence the lost wax process. So you'll have a mold which um, has the volume of this hair, which then accommodates the bronze. And then you knock the mold off again and you have a little bronzy. So it's quite an involved process. It's a process I enjoy. I still get a thrill when the metal melts and you pour it. You Somehow there, there's magic in that. Now it's very difficult to make these hairs because they don't actually exist. When you're making a, a sculpture of a figure, you have a reference and you know your own body and you can refer to it. But making this imaginary sinking hair is quite challenging. We've got the hair patinaed and um, its legs been adjusted and it's happy. We've got the, the stainless steel base made. we just got to take off the burrs and square it up a little and then get a finish on it. And then the shadow and we're going to get galvanized and powder coated so it doesn't start rusting. Our engineering feat is the fact that it stands on this corner. And if you imagine a guala lifting a whole concrete block, you can imagine how much force is on this edge. And we've gone and managed to get it together beautifully. With the wind blowing on the precinct like it is, it's a bad hair day. Speaking of which, this sculpture by Guy de Toy is rather charmingly called Hair's a Thought. So I'm standing right here and as you can see, this magnificent bronze hair delivered today is sitting on a plinth. It's actually sitting on a bubble, a square bubble rather than the traditional round thought bubble. This is specifically RMB's bubble of thought and it's cantilevered. It's done very carefully by the artist. And if you are looking for inspiration for those solutions that we promise in the solutionist thinking proposition, come and hang out with the hair right here.